Hello, this is Lucas Wilson with a video on binary stars. Um, uh, this is a gravity simulator that I recently got. It simulates the gravity, anyway. So, we're going to create a clean universe. My finger, my fingers look like binary thing, like wee wee wee. Anyway, so we have. I'm, I'm sure some of you, at least, so at least some of you, have heard of the Kuiper Belt object, VNH something. It is a binary object, meaning. It, it base this is base oops that never happened Come on. we have to put a star in to eat up all the asteroids right, there it goes la 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 anyway so let's try it there's also a binary asteroid out there so let's try that and it and they each follow perfectly circular orbits which is kind of weird it's not perfectly circular. Let's load. So this is our extremely empty universe. And we're going to make one of these going really fast. And then this one's going to go really slow. And it moves them all. This is basically what the binary asteroid does. It moves through space, orbiting each other. Orbiting. A common barycenter point, which would be that in this case. And doing that just messes it up. Anyway, when those are gone, let's put a star in the middle. Then the gravitational force. I have yet to find the Langrange points in the in this game. I'm not quite good about that yet. So if one of those little asteroids left, now we're going to try it with the biggest planets there are. So there's one. There's two. Now they follow nearly circular paths around each other. Now let's see if we can... Whoa! Oops. That was a total accident. do that again. I'm sorry about that. That was a total accident. Accidents happen, even on highly planned videos like these. So we're going to pause. And we fire it. Fire it. And here they are, orbiting each other. Now, normally, something at... Alright, let's see if we can put something at the bare center. Right there. And let's pause and see if we can put something in orbit around one of them. Yes, we can. Check that out. So now this one has a moon that just got slingshotted. And we can also have things orbit the common very center point. See? Now that's how that's how the Kepler something system works. I don't know. See, but now they're in stable orbits, except for the ones that go close. Then it triangulates the orbit. Oh, what the... Yep, let's do that again. That was another one of my silly, silly mistakes. All right. Let's make them farther apart this time. 
and they had too much speed. All right, let's try again. Slow, slow. The gravitational field of these is very, very, very weak. Let's try that again. Here we go. Let's reset. I know this is not exactly the funnest thing for everyone, but I love these types of games. Anyway, so let's try again. Pause. Uptown, funk you up. Uptown, funk you up. That's a stable orbit. There we go. Now we can give these guys... What the... Why the heck do I keep doing that? What is wrong with me? I have no idea why I keep doing that. Alright. This time... This time I'm not going to make the same mistake. Anyway, here we are. Binaries work. They're amazing. It's amazing that gravity can do something like this. Here we go. And that just got slingshotted. So it, it looks like it alternate. Oh, that was interesting. That's weird. The gravity actually changed. Oh. Let's see if we can find the barycenter. I already kind of did that. Look, it's caught into a stable orbit that slingshots it between the two. And there it goes. That one has less speed than this one, which makes it unstable and makes it start to move. Let's put a bunch of these right there and see which ones. Oh, they all. But let's see if we can make one of these orbit the barycenter. The, the the farther apart the the thing the binary components get the weaker their gravitational field is I know I'm an 11 year old I shouldn't know all this but I'm gifted and I want to be an astronaut see it triangulates the orbit now let's try to put some closer together and all right, so let's get some that are closer together. Try that. Nope, too much. Bye bye. Too much velocity. Too little velocity. See, they the collision meshes. Well, not really, but anyway. Oh, come on. All right. Anyway, I think I'm a little sleepy right now. I'm getting... I'm making big mistakes. I will do a makeup video for this. Um, let's just try one more thing, and then we'll be done. I Thanks for going through the stinkiness of me. That's stank. Try again. This one last time. Little, little, that works, see? Their collision meshes do clip a little bit, but it works, see? Wee woo! It's a planet there. Now let's do another planet there. See? This is how binary stars work. They just crashed into each other. Normally they would meld together, but this game is not programmed that way. Now let's get... This is like Pluto and Charon. They orbit each other. As you can see... 
these two's orbits are being changed by that one. And eventually they collide like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Lucas Wilson. Launch safe.